Welcome. <laughs> they don't know we just came back. We forgot the most important part of Roman readings, which is uh, beverages that you can only consume if you are of a certain age in this country. Yes. Uh, we don't. We don't encourage. No. But I also don't agree with the age limitation. <laughs> <sighs> that's a whole that's a different subject for a different day yeah go on patreon and donate some money and request that we rant about that topic <laughs> i think the the ten dollar tier right now you can ask the request we'll do it during a playthrough yeah instead of just like face cam status yeah. but we we have our libations mm. so roman readings we've decided you like it yes okay. very good we decided it's pretty standard that i'm going to read them um Mostly because everybody, I've like adopted other people into it, so I don't want a whole bunch of different narrations. If people want to get attached to Roman readings, I hope it's that they like me. Eh. And, you know, you going forward, that's how You can vote for your favorite friendo. <laughs> Are you the favorite friendo? You didn't wear your backless shirt, you can't flirt with them. You could smize. Oh, oh well, or take off your shirt. So. <laughs> You're gonna, you're gonna like this book then. <laughs> so the first one that we did was Unicorn Butt Cops. Mm -hmm. um, it was the companion story to this story, which is pounded in the butt by my own butt. My friend started this. I love her dearly. Her nickname is Green Tea. Oh, she's adorable. It's cute. I love her, and she like doesn't eat like meat and stuff, so it kind of like. Ah, it together. just it just works trust me yeah and she i she knew i was upset one day and so in order to cheer me up she sent me the link to this author chuck tingle one of his books that was like uh pounded in the butt by frankenstein's monster or something like that and the cover art is hilariously poorly photoshopped like it's fantastic so i looked him up on amazon and that rabbit hole is deep <laughs> that rabbit hole that hole is deep. That hole is deep, man. He said he was a virgin. It's deep enough for two unicorn butt cops. We know that much. Just saying. So I decided to purchase this, and then the companion with this was the unicorn butt cops. So this is pounded in the butt by my own butt. So it, it has, I've read part of it to kind of see where, whether it would be worthy. Um, it's worthy. <laughs> <laughs> but we're going to, yeah, we're going to go for it. Where does the miracle of science end and magic begin? Some people would say no. <laughs> that. <laughs> Some people would say never that magic is nothing more than something we can't quite understand yet, but eventually will. Which, that is an argument. Uh, just because a force seems mysterious and exotic doesn't mean it can't be quantified later on. Which, you know, magnets. Magnets. <laughs> As a young researcher, I haven't been around long. Or hadn't been in my field long enough to see any of these enormous changes take place, but I like to eh, remind myself about things in the present that must have seemed like magic to those in the past. Electricity alone could have been framed in another way decades ago, considered the result of hours upon hours of careful black magic. Oh, okay. Of course, I know better. Magic isn't real. So, do you feel like he's setting us up for something yep. that isn't scientific, but he's gonna say it is? Yep. Magic isn't real, nor the various mis mystical trappings that come along with it. Love at first sight or luck, just to name a few. Well, there's lust at first sight. That That's real. <laughs> I'm a staunch skeptic, as anyone else with my job, a research assistant at Rubble Biological Labs, should be. But even a hardline skeptic like me can't help but feel a little twinge of magic in the air when they first hear the news about Hunter... Hunter Tuck Island? Well then. Do, do they talk? Maybe. The now private island was recently purchased by a rather eccentric billionaire. That's always the way. Yep. I can't wait to be an eccentric yep. billionaire who immediately went to work doing clone research and creating several living copies of himself. Big old orgy. Well, yeah, but like that means this this is like leaps and bounds ahead of where we are today because that's highly illegal like yeah. even if we could there yeah at first the news of the small island colony was met by various scoffs of doubt but as time went on and evidence was presented the findings were quickly regarded as scientific truth of course there are a whole slew of ethical arguments to be addressed here especially because the clones are not exact replicas but rather mutants of the original sample biologically programmed to be less intelligent worker drones 
These drones were usually to used to build an entirely new infrastructure on the island. Okay. I was ecstatic. I knew it was a cat without looking. I knew it. I knew it was a cat. It wasn't me. Knew it. No. Shit. Well. Oh. <laughs> trying to get up under there. Trying to yeah. get that sweet, sweet armpit. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. I was ecstatic. Finally, the first... Oh, God. Have you even watched through the Unicorn Butt Cups all the way yet? No. Because there is a phrase. I believe it was, um... Frenzied gay lust or something like that. Oh, God. It was really frantic, maybe? It was really good. Rabbit! That was it. Yeah. yeah. I didn't know you guys could be... Yeah. Rabbit. Wait for it, it'll happen one day. <laughs> Finally, the first massive shift to biology, and I'm poised on the front lines of progress. But once the breakthroughs on Hunter Tuck Island became regarded as scientific fact, the ability to recreate such incredible results quickly was locked up tight. I can't blame them. After all, once we have the ability to create these worker drone clones, the business potential is almost unlimited. The entire industry would be a gold mine, redefining the world entire world's economy, and then we'd have a slave race. I mean, Star Trek has already delved into that, but this is not where he's going with this. So, he's got to wrap this up pretty quick, right? Of course, the government was quick to step in and put a stop to all of this, regardless of what a League of Worker Drones could do. For progress, there's too many people getting worked up about human rights of such mindless creatures. <laughs> what did I just say? Maybe they had a point. Maybe not. But it was absolutely fascinating new discovery nonetheless. Here at Rebel Biological Labs, we've taken a balanced approach to moving forward. We used the early results from Hunter Tuck Island to create the basis of our experiments but started over completely with the rest of the research. To describe it another way, we've taken a photo of their finished puzzle and are now working hard to put all the pieces back into the right place. Thanks to a massive loophole, all of our research is perfectly illegal. So as long as we don't use any exact copies of the Hunter Tuck method, and as long as we aren't hiring any outside test subjects, the only people we're allowed to test on are ourselves. As intimidating as that could be to have a potential clone running around in the world, it's really not hard to volunteer for experimentation because to this day none of our experiments have yielded any living results. That is until today. And now it truly begins. Right? Like this is hmm. Let's have a, a sip sip. Oh, I've had many sips already. Mm. Just saying. Oh, it's delicious. I walked into work that morning like I would on any other day, swiping my key card through the laboratory reader and walking past that's not the right past. <sighs> Spelling and grammar, it just kills me. Anyway, walking past the door automatically opens with a soft hiss. I say hello to the security cards and continue down the long hallway into the depths of the facility until I reach lab 243, a highly secretive and high clearance area. I swipe my card again and enter. Kirk! Shouts one of my colleagues. Oh boy. I didn't tell him about that part. When I was reading this, I leaned over to go, and he's like, what? He's like, nah, nah. <laughs> he's just like, ah. So yeah, the Caesar whole, the guy who real. gets cloned and his own butt are Kirk. Oh, man. He opens his arms wide and stands up to a row of computers to greet me with a warm hug. Today's the big day. I know, I say with a laugh. I'm up to bat. Dr. Porter motions me over to his lead computer and types in a few quick commands. A bright blue display of cloning schematics pop up onto the computer screen. My eyes go wide the second that I see what he has planned. Oh, whoa. It's great, isn't it? Dr. Porter offers with an excited smile.